righty. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get round two started here. I'm back with Tom Wan. Uh, we are going to be streaming. Uh, looks like we're muted. There we go. All right, there we go. Okay. So this is we get here with run, uh, going to game two. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you for telling us. Uh, we're going to set up here soon. Uh, players are just put out objections right now. We got uh, Mr. Jeremy and Randy up on stream. We got Stormcast versus... We're the offs. Yeah. What is he? Uh, oh, we're, yeah. G KO versus Stormcast. We're going to get that set up. Cities. 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 Cities? You mean cities? Yeah. It is this nonsense. This is a game that Tom wanted us to put on stream. So it's going to go over to the table. And you can see there that they're getting set up right now. Um, Do you need changes? Yeah, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna update that there real quick for you folks. Um, they just figured out who the attacker and defender are, and then we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, going here soon in a second. Weird knobs versus weird knobs. Yep. As only. Let's see. So, Tom, you want to talk about uh, one of their lists real quick while I'm trying to get this uh, technical side? Yeah, uh, right. Let's see here. Rando, the uh, Austin Loco, spraying City of Sigmar, spraying the Tempest Eye with the uh, Take with Zeus as a grand strategy. Uh huh. It's got the Hurricanum as a general. With Hawkeye, which gives plus one to wound for all shooting attacks within the 12 inch bubble. Alright, alright. And it's got the Strike of Eagles, which is a spell that. When it, if it goes off, on uh, roll six dice for every four plus you roll is a mortal wounds. Uh huh. And he's got the and he's got the admiral, with the arcane tome for aura glory, giving a unit plus one attack. Okay. Uh, what is he gonna be looking to put that? Uh, sorry, was that a uh, ability that he gets a plus one attack with? As a spell, uh, aura glory. All right. Who do you think? He, what do you think he's gonna be trying to put it on? I think uh, he's gonna put on the storm Drake guard. Yeah. Is that a? Do you? How big is that unit? I believe it's 12 inches. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty, very powerful. And then he's got three units of pistoliers, and one unit of free guild guard, and then the four dragons. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. yeah it should be updated now, folks. Sorry, I thought uh, Randy was doing, uh, what's it called? Uh, Stormcast Eternals. But no, no, City Sigmar. I should, should be updated to reflect that now. Yeah, we're a glory. It's just everything holy within. Right. Oh, oh wow. So very. So he's gonna try to push. The admiral is gonna follow the dragons in the boat. Uh huh. So the dragons are always gonna get the plus one attack, and the dragons have lances. Okay. So very powerful, and uh, Randall's also got a uh, ironclad. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of shooting with a great volley gun, and then it's a one drop. So. It's a very powerful alpha army, and we're gonna see how it, da how how many, it does. How many hurricanes does he have? One. Just one, okay. Yeah. I think he, if I'm looking at it correctly, it's not a standard hurricane. He actually converted, I think, one of his gun haulers yeah. and gave it like little chicken walker legs. It looks really cool. Yeah, and Jeremy's taking the Karaja Overlords. Uh huh. He's gone with a custom skyport, which uh, is not listed as a bonus, but I believe it's just, he's got the real ones to hit against flying things right, and right. then the. And then some other bonuses. He's got the Jeremy's got the Aether Canvas with the General, the Collector, Battle Command Tree for the extra artifact. He's got Arcane Tome. Mm -hmm. He's got the Admiral. He's got the Navigator with the Voice Tone Orb, which is once per game, and it can automatically unbind the spell. That's, that's really good. And then he's got the Navigator. Is the Navigator the one that cuts units' movement in half? Uh, flying, it cuts a flying units' movement in half on a one, two, on a three. Uh -huh. yeah. And then on the uh, uh, six, I believe it does more wounds also. Oh, oh. So very nasty. And then Jeremy's got three units of the uh, Arc Arc Company as the uh, just like basic line troops with right. the, uh, their uh, special maximum maximum number of their special weapons. Yeah, three of them have the move characteristic of a flying unit. And then on the six, you take D D six D three models as well. Mm -hmm. 
All right, cool. My audio. So uh, let me try to adjust my mic a little bit. And then Jeremy also has two frigates and the ironclad. Now his ironclad has the sky. Uh, all three of them have heavy sky uh, sky cannons. And then his uh, ironclad has the gray engine or okay, uh, uh, like an older truck almost. But you roll a dice for his for each for the total of his charge roll. Uh -huh. And then on the four up, you take uh, the, the thing of model. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, let us know if there's still some bleed over. I went ahead and moved my mic. Uh, let, yeah, just let us know if there's still an issue. And then very powerful in combination with the bomb racks, so just doing a lot of mortal wounds. And Jeremy's got a horror gas and then two gun haulers All to right. fit out of us. That horror gas is an interesting play, but I really like it a lot. A lot of people sleep on it, but not being able to, uh, was inspiring presence and causing extra models to flee? Yeah. Seems pretty good. Uh, so out of these, like, so out of Randy's list, what do you think, like, what are the big key pieces that that is going to be doing the most work for him? It's for sure the dragon and uh -huh. the iron club. Yeah, definitely. Uh, a lot of people, like, Hurricanum has been a consistent unit throughout the entire history of Cities of Sigmar. Yeah. Like, it's been good, really good. Good casting, good support, and a good... Uh Shooting attack. It's under 300 points, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's 285. Yeah. It's very, yeah, very like, good piece. Yeah, good piece. And dragons, they're tough, they're fast. Even with uh, a nerf to their uh, hero phase movement. Yeah, Jeremy's going to have to play very spread out. And then let me just. I'm going to get. I'm going to ask what his uh, custom Skyport bonuses are. Yeah. Yeah, we got most of their deployment. Ow. <laughs> Okay, I was like, well, I was pretty sure we got most of their deployment zones in there. The only, it's like bottom left-hand corner of the table is like the only one that really can't. So his Jeremy's custom Skyport bonus are um, actual D3 Aether Gold, uh -huh. uh, once per game, retreat and shoot, and then uh, reroll once to hit against flying units for the boat. Okay. So very powerful here because most majority of Randy's uh, work pieces, work, work pieces are uh, flyers. Yeah. So Jerry's still gonna be able to limit the movement of the dragons and the uh, ironclad. Uh, not 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 as much as it matters on the dragons, but still oh. can do it. And then just maybe do some more loots. Yeah. And like for those of y'all who are not familiar with Randy. Uh, I mean, if you're not an Aussie, you wouldn't be familiar, but his first army competitively for AOS was KO. Yeah. So he knows that army in and out, yeah. and it's going to be interesting to see how that knowledge... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so don't worry, guys. We're good. We're still getting the um, the battle tactics or their grand strategy stuff updated here. Uh, I'm scrolling through the list now to figure that out. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Well uh, we're more spread out now, but if there's still more bleed overs, let, please let us know. Yeah. And, <clears throat> uh, Randy has a one drop versus Jeremy's two drops, so Randy will get the uh, choice on the prior priority. Yep, here we go. So. The grand strategy for Jeremy is going to be take what's theirs, yeah. which is a pretty same, common one. Same for Randy. So they're both going to try to move uh, more Mala into the opponent's side of the table versus yep. theirs. Take what's theirs. Let's assume I know how to grammar. Let me put that apostrophe in there. Bam! We're Englished up. Alright. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of. So, R Randy has the unit to put forward to soak the shots where Jeremy doesn't really have it. Yeah. But, but, but Jeremy has a lot more firepower at long range, so it'll be interesting to see how this game plays out. Yeah, uh, it Randy is. Randy also has more units spread out, and he does also have the one unit of GB. So, we see the handshake. Yep, and uh, everything looks updated. Take what's theirs, got the right players in the right spots, and uh, yeah. So the scoreboard should be uh, good to go. One extra gold. And now, for those that don't know, eight to go, you can use them as an extra try. Yeah.
Yeah. That'd be interesting. Obviously, the double is very powerful here, but I don't know if Randall wants to sub knows wants to like uh, can like uh, what's it called? Uh, survive the amount of firepower. Players communicating about their grand strategy. Yep. Uh, Houston is muggy and hot. I believe Randall has activated the right side objective. Now this mission is Price of Gallant, so only one objective can be activated a turn. So Jeremy has been given first turn by Randall. And Gaining momentum have been chosen. Yep, yep. So and that he is the attacker. So and one unit and the front unit pistolier has been chosen as the target. All right. Uh, which one's the pistolers? The the right side, the the horse, the horsey. These guys right yep. here. Yep. All right. Cool. So Jerry's gonna put. I assume some number of the GVs mm -hmm. is uh, our uh, company onto the objective and then shoot off the... Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Like, that's what KO does. They shoot. They were the original shooting army of AOS. Yeah. He's so, probably going to just shoot off all the skirmish units to stop the contesting mm -hmm. and then try to endure the mortal wounds. I know we got into this pretty quick, folks, but... Uh, I just wanted those who are joining us down, welcome first off. And now we are, uh, we're playing the first uh, GT of the Texas Master Series, uh, Hammerfest, and it's actually part of the Greater Warzone Houston event. There's a lot of different games here. There's Hill Team, uh, Horse Heresy 40K, even I think like uh, Crisis Protocol here. Really cool group. Uh, we have uh, a charity raffle for the uh, Charge Syndrome Foundation. A lot of cool prizes being given away. Uh, so it's, it's a great time. Everybody looks like they're having fun right now. So it looks like the boys are coming out. All right, and they are, are they just popping out like normal? That's this is I believe. Yep. Like, what do you mean? See, we like, how do you mean snag them? Like, walk off with them from people's tables? Like, what do you say, man? Like, I ain't gonna do nothing illegal. It's just both boys. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look at some of the secondary market stuff and see. I didn't see any real, a lot of the secondary market stuff was 40K, but I'll take another look here for both boys specifically. So you see the center unit has embarked. Yep. Now I'm a little fuzzy on the fly high mechanic. Do you mind explaining that? Oh yeah, so once per turn, uh, th during the movement phase, you're gonna pick up a boat and just fly to the of the way. Okay, can uh, can that be done if uh, like something embarked on it that turn? It looks like it. Okay, okay, cool. And uh, is that a KO allegiance ability or can like Randy do that? Uh, Randy, it's uh, on the War Scroll of the, oh, okay. of the uh, Iron Class. He's Lewis from the Wii. Ah, okay, Lewis. Yeah, dude, I'll take a look and see. Um, yeah, I'll take a look and see here once we're done. Yeah, being on the boat itself, that's awesome because it gives Randy a lot of movement that he wouldn't have uh, yeah. had access to before. Let me see if I can drag up that uh, URL for y'all real quick with the list. Yeah, and then for the flying transfer rules, you cannot join or lead the model's garrison if they have moved already or mm -hmm. flown high. Okay. But you can join them before it flies off. Okay, that's cool. And then models that are in the boat does not count towards contesting. Okay. Here we see Jeremy just 
load, using a trigger as the front front screen and having the gun holders and the iron clad behind it. Okay. And now this mission is very uh, okay, good for KO in the sense that the objective is only one objective is a turn. You okay. don't have to spread out to contest multiple turns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me know if that link doesn't work. I think it should, though. The uh, Google Docs with the list. Cool. Now, here we're going to see just shooting, pick up, maybe even bolting a pistol here, and then score one, one more, and the battle tactic for four points. Sir. Okay. This thing is still over there. Looks like we're putting an ironclad in front. So was that a what what happened there? They're just they're just measuring out the distance, probably. Oh uh, okay. I didn't know that was like a movement and they took something back. Yeah. Well the, the every boat can effectively be anywhere on the board, so it doesn't really matter where we start. Oh they can all they, they can, can all fly, fly high. Yeah. Oh okay. So the positioning of that particular boat doesn't particularly matter? As okay. long as both, stand, both players understand what they're trying to do, it's oh, okay, yeah. no problem at all. Yeah, so this is a game of intent, basically, yeah. Yeah, with these boats. Well, that's going to be really close. He's trying to squeeze that boat and still be on the table edge. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's fine. Doesn't yeah. This is barely fits on the table. How's our weird knobs doing? Um, Joe, what? let's see, Joe Carwright won his game one, I believe. Jeff won his game one. Robish won. Yeah, Robish won. I think everyone, all, most of the weird knobs won except Before Dimitri, you Dimitri lost and Eli lost. Wow. Oh. Alright, so we just seem to be doing pretty good overall as a club. Yep, and Tomo is exactly right. Based on how rules work in the 4 GSP. Yep. It's space to fit. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. Look at you using math and shit to figure it out. I think for tire target priority, obviously the battle tactic is important. I think yeah. the other tar big target is the uh, the hard column. Does yeah. not does not have a good save. No, it doesn't. And it's like we said earlier, it's a great offensive and support piece. Yeah. Being able to just drop mortal wounds out of the sky on like a, just a dice roll, I think it is. Yeah. Pretty good. So yeah. Uh, here we see Jeremy measuring to the ironclad. Maybe try to maybe trying to snipe out the ammo inside. Yeah, it's also kind of hard to tell, but at that very back of the deployment zone is Randy's ironclad. So it's like here we see shooting. Uh, here the shooting phase starts, yeah. which will be the majority of this game, as there's a lot of shooting both yeah. sides. It's like here is the ironclad, the hurt cannon, yeah. and I think it's just those. Two. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is the Hurt Cannon base right here. Or not Hurt Cannon, Iron Class base right there. So all the defense has been shown the pistol ears, and then uh, we, we do see, I think, Jeremy declare every shot on the Iron Class into the... Yeah. Which makes sense. I mean, you want to get that battle tactic. So you got the carbine, the, the torpedoes, and the strap over from the cannon. Yeah. And the guys inside. Yeah, the, the guys got inside. Up. The guys that got picked up. The, yeah. KO shooting is very good. Yeah. Got six A's coming in on the pistol ears. Yep. Uh, so they're native, native plus one due to uh, fat. Alert and forward from the uh, Tempest Side Bonus. Uh -huh. So they'll be at a plus one to their base hit. That's pretty good. Elements. I believe they're a uh, five or four. Yeah, so Randy will be saving everything on the four. Okay. So they lost two. Yep, that's not a good start to it. Yeah, I'll tell them. Yep, that's the unit. Yep. And that was his battle tactic unit, right? Yep. So now what does he have to do? He, he's got his battle tactic. So now he's scored four. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Is four the max you can score on this map? Yeah, turn one because there's only one objective. So ah, yeah. right. So we see the same thing here over on the other side of the frigate. Mm -hmm.
pistol here, one damage to all two. The other pistol here. This one down yeah. here? Yeah. All right. It's interesting, Jeremy chose to ignore the dragons, which could, which could, which is a smart choice. The dragons will be saving everything on the two of us. Yeah. All the shooting. Yeah, and plus, I mean, the Pistoliers give Randy a lot of, like, speed and movement and flexibility towards the late game. Yeah, just so round. A, yeah. Plus, they're not too bad at shooting, so, I mean. So, here we got more figure shooting. That's good. We see Frigga push five damage, four damage through. That might just kill all of them, I think. Yeah. Yep. Yep, Frigga. Another unit pistol here, then. See two, see gun follower just sniping damage on the characters. And that's it for the turn. Yep. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, Jeremy does not have the flare pistol. Uh, I think he should have done the movement behind Bowie. I don't know. He, uh, we'll double check. Yeah, yeah, that's Yep, uh, Tom's gonna go ahead and ask for you real quick. Yeah, I'm not seeing any kind of marker on him. Yeah. So. So yeah. So Tom, I believe it. I believe the dragon is still gonna be moving at 15. But we'll find out very shortly when they move. The dice has been put down on the ironclad. Maybe it's some kind of. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Or Gloria has been cast. A oh, Mystic Shield, yeah. On the Dragons, so making them very hard to shoot down for the KOR. Yeah. I will get you updated on the battle tactic very shortly. Has shows an eye for an eye. Alrighty. Randy is the eye for That worked. It worked. So players discussing what A3 Gold does. means the dragons are probably okay to move. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Um, like I said, no markers on them except for the uh, so, arcane shield. So here's a hard column casting uh, Strike of Eagles for two models, I believe. I think so. Yeah. yeah. On the gun hauler. Yeah. How many, how many wins do the gun hauler have? They're not two, like eight? I believe eight, yeah. It is smart for Randall to shoot a gun holder first because it does provide the ironclad with a six up ward. Yeah, that's when you have a six up ward on something that has that much like wounds, like yeah. it starts to actually matter. Gun haulers have ten wounds. Ten wounds on gun haulers, okay. Yep. So here we see the pistol ears moving up. Yep. Oh, dragon's coming in.
And is this what is this the movement phase move? Yeah. Okay. They, they, they don't have the movement phase. I know it's a shame. Yeah. Not really. They were uh, they were a little strong. So dragons coming in here. I believe what's gonna happen is he's gonna try with the Harakon and the dragon shooting try to kill the gun hauler or or the Anko actually. You can play it both ways because um the uh, Harakon does do. D3 models on the 2-1 uh, uh, with 3 shots. Turn your mic a little bit this way. Alright, let us know if... Uh, yeah. Sorry about the audio issues, folks. We're trying to get it sorted out. Here we see Randall also do what Jeremy did, which is to abandon one side of the flank to try to fo focus his army into one, one side as much as possible. I mean, really? Like, it's a good idea because those boats can just move anyway. Like, yeah. no sense trying to split up and, and divide your forces that are just going to get, like, moved away anyways. And here we got, here we see Randall's iron claw also fly high. Yeah. To try to um, take over the center. The volley gun should be in range, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, shoot the gun hold to that, and then just put up as much damage into the iron claw as possible. Yeah, I wonder what he's gonna dedicate shots to from what into the gun hauler first. I think the iron claw is gonna dedicate most of his shots into the into the gun hauler, yeah. and then you have the motor wound shooting shoot the iron claw with them, yeah. and then the pistol here can finish off whatever those whatever those go. Yeah, I always get concerned about like splitting shots when I play because like I'm like, like I when I do it, it never works. Like I always want to go all in on something. Yeah. So here's the iron class shooting. It's a volley gun. Randall deciding where the torpedoes and the, the carbines are going. See, we see Randall shooting uh, the longer, longer range guns. Yeah, 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 I agree. So the, so the Iron Claw is not getting the hard count of bonus. Oh, is it a holy weapon? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, Eagle Eye does in fact get plus one to wound for just being within. So was that a two of the wound then? Yeah. Oh, that's really solid. Frigid, the Frigate just took two, I believe, on the left side. All right. And here we see uh, 10 shots. And here's the volley gun. Just clarifying the twos and twos. Four has failed, so four damage. Uh, so these volley guns are actually shooting at Eric, not company. Okay. Maybe he's looking to just thinning the thinning. Yep. Yeah. So, do, I'm assuming he can declare, like, next player goes tech and declare that objective as a proving ground? Yeah. So, if they're inside the boat, do they count as, no. so it, I mean, maybe that's why he's doing it, so that next turn, if he goes tech, he declares his proving ground, and he'll have vets there? Sure. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, no. Jeremy, Jeremy does have, Jeremy does have uh, vets in the boat. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, so it's interesting. Uh, it, it's not the highest red, so those are probably the most effective damage. Mm, okay. This is a pistol here. Dragons have a shooting attack, yeah? Yeah, the Brad, the Brad Coffin. Those are the highest value shots. He wants to shoot everything else first to decide yeah, where else goes. Go. Makes sense.
see Randall actually targeting heroes with the pistol ears inside the boat. Huh. So in this case, the all push is fine because Jeremy has the range superiority, so Randall needs to push up and will force Jeremy to do something. Yeah. Plus he, I mean, he needs, he did lose two units. They weren't the like most powerful units his army, but they were definitely something that he could have used. And I, yeah, he needs to do some work this turn. I'm thinking Brain is really hoping for the double turn on this next round. Oh yeah. This was... Well, Randall's something for us to kill the gun, kill the... Kill the gun hauler, kill the, uh... Frigate, or kill the Ironclad, and it moves that way. Yeah. Randall lost two units of pistol leader. Do you think with the shooting and the melee with the dragons, as things stand now, he'll be able to take out both boats with them? Uh, with the melee, yes. Potentially. That's what he's hoping for, at least. Yeah. So six wounds go through, I believe that's from the shooting its breath. Mm -hmm. Threes and threes. So it's taking eight on the iron clock. Okay, he's getting so, there. He's got like ten left, I believe. Yeah, he's get, he's getting there though. Yeah. So pistol leader's looking for sixes. Safe. That's the chart. So that's the end of the shooting phase. Okay. Charging in to soak the only shell. Yeah, yeah. You probably still spend the CP to do it. I mean, yeah, because once those are in, that big boat can't over uh, yeah. only shell, right? Yeah. Pistoliers so, do get to shoot before after they charge. Uh, that's pretty cool. Are those storm drink guard categorized as monsters? Yeah. So they'll be able to to potentially roar, prevent the battle, the command point usage on the boat, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That, that, do you think that's what Randy's gonna be trying to do? Yeah, it's not really that much value like doing a stomp. Yeah. Unless it's really low. And it does the armor does not bracket, so So it takes three more damage. Here's the only shell onto the pistol ears. Ooh. I mean they're just there to soak it, so it's fine. Oh, so they get their shots after the charge move, but before Only Shell goes off? Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. That's some value right there. Yeah. Only one went through. Rennie's pretty good about rolling it underneath his boat. Yeah. Only losing one pistolier. That's really solid. Yeah. There's a charge on the dragon. I'm interested to see where he splits his attacks and how he does it with the unit. I don't think he, Yeah. Would minus one save, minus one to hit and plus one to save. It's be very not productive to split into the characters. Yeah. Because if he roars the boat, Jeremy has a free 
Spot to all defense. Yeah. Randy rolled a three for something. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe charge with the bow? Uh, yeah. I believe he is roared. On racks, the three mortals to the dragons. So, I'm going to see dragons take mortals. How many wins do those dragons have? Five? Not each. So, no, oh, so nine. Six. Jeez. Uh, since they're not uh, Stormcast Legion, do they still get the Thunderclap like when they die thing? No. That's, That's the only thing they lose, which makes them very good allies. Yeah. A lot of twos, that's kind of... Yeah. Oh, plus one to hit from... Oh, Celestial Hurricane him. So, not all the rest of Yep. It's good. Let's see what's going to happen. No. But, 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 but the Iron Cloud was still going to see some... Yeah, so I was just about to ask, since all the attacks are happening at the same time, it yep. should still get that. Yep. That is a handful of dice. I'm a little scared for the ironclad. Uh, here's, here's the uh, ironclad. That is a lot of hits. Right, all hit. Eight minus one. Yeah. Now, if there's guys inside the ironclad when it's destroyed, do they like have a chance to die? Yeah, no one. So here we go. These two not threes. Yeah. Still a good amount of hits, yeah. or wounds rather. Uh, what's the rim value on these? That's two, two damage. That is a lot. Yeah, it's quite brutal. Sure, only does two. What? what? And the truck saves. So, it looks Take like three. three. Yeah. But luckily, we still have the dragons. Oh, those weren't the dragons. They're the last. Oh, oh, oh. But wait, there's more! I think that might have been all, actually. There's no, no, all right. They're the lances and the claws of the same profile, so I think I have rolled it together. Okay. So the Iron Claw Luke. Hmm. That was a uh, very, uh, surprise, surprise to all of them. Hey, there's still the Pistoliers. They can melee him to death. Yeah. Uh, luckily, um, for Randall, though, uh, he did put up, uh, Mystic Shield, so they're gonna be on, uh, yeah. save on the tool. Yeah, that's, yeah, Toop Saints are kind of a thing. Yeah. So we've been telling the pistol ears. <laughs> so mathematically, should those dragons have been able to kill the uh, ironclad? It's uh, it's tricky because um, on twos and threes, uh, rank two is kind of not a form save though. That's the really, that's the challenging part. Yeah. Okay. So. Tom's got a good question. Any idea who owns the objective? Uh, so, I believe Randall still does, because the driving count is five each, and the bow is two. And the guys inside don't yeah. count, correct? The guys inside does not count. Yeah. I believe. Uh, plus, yeah, uh, I can't tell, but I don't know if those three Argonauts are, are within range I, of the objective. I think it's still less than 20, but I'll yeah. double check. Yeah, Randall's still gonna have twenty. It's gonna have twenty-three over Jeremy. So, Randall will still be able to score four points this turn. Yeah. Eye for an eye on the gun hauler, and then uh, two for the objective. Yep. Two navigators swinging the staff. One hit. Okay. 
Uh, what's the bat, what's the bravery characteristic on those Arcanauts? Do you know off the hand? I believe it's seven. And they, he lost four, so dice minus three. Yeah. Um, so he's probably gonna spend a CP. That's yeah, that's awesome. that's kind of like a. Yeah, if he spikes a six, he's gonna lose the entire unit. So yeah, you need to. Yeah, it's the end of the round, so might as well spend it. True. True. So players, players are discussing where the uh, Mystic Shield went. No, yeah, it was on the Storm Drake Guard. Like that's what we all saw. Like, I guess they were. Uh, I guess it wasn't. Uh, I guess they were trying to the club, so they kind of put it open house. I guess, yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah. But there's, there's clear enough. So. Yeah. But I think. Um, Either way, he's still going to have four points, and then... Yeah. So, six damage. Six damage to what? The pistol is. Oh, what it's... Oh, who attacked him? The Admiral is Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. That's the, that's the thing about the KO folks. They're quite fighty with the yeah. amount of characters inside. So, and then you have... And then there's like the random boarding weapons on the boat itself. Yeah. Which is kind of like the crew. So, yeah. So, nothing majorly changes. It's just like some pistol on side. Yeah. So, it'll be four points. Yep. Yeah. And it's tricky with this uh, mission because um, you do the same. Uh, it's the same mechanic. The second player gets to pick, uh, activate the one objective, and then you get the uh, and then the proving and then the proving round. It happens the same. So usually, yeah, it does get kind of a, it does get kind of confu confusing. Where, which one is? Hang on, they're they're trying to involve us in this discussion. <laughs> they're like, go to the stream. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And we'll see uh, which one. What was his tactic? It was Iconite, yeah. What do they just... I, I think there's some kind of discussion about who's Galay veterans and who's not. Oh no, it's um... Well, Proving Ground, it says uh, only uh... Galatian veterans get to contest it. Yeah. And then the uh, what's it called? Uh, because the uh, dragons and the uh, and the pistoliers were not um, Galatian. Then the Galatian veterans. So only the technically only these uh, dwarves will contest. But it's fine. I don't need. But 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 tech yeah. So we'll, and we'll see how the we'll see how the gathers. Is it? This is going to be a proving ground, and not. So I think that means I think Randall won. Good. You get that? I'm not setting a proving ground. Okay. So did you score four points last round? Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we got it. Randy is not declaring a proving ground. Jeremy wants that known to everybody. It is confusing because uh, it's the only mission where two things happen to one objective that's one out. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Uh, so they resolved it, so they have both scored four. And then uh, I believe that Jeremy won prior on I ran out of now activating a objective to be able to score. Yeah. Now the thing about this mission is starting round two. A round one you can activate a middle roll objective, and a round two on you can activate a home objective. Yeah. So 
we were told, uh, we actually asked the tournament organizers ahead of time, or I asked them, do you want us to be active judges in this type of event? They said, no, we would just want you all to pass the games and don't intervene. If we think there's a problem, come get them. Well, uh, the players got the judges involved and asked them to resolve the situation. They said it's not a proving ground because... Logically speaking, I don't think it would to be Randall's interest to act make it a proving ground. Yeah. Because his army doesn't have any glitches. And I think that's what the judges ruled. Like, why would a player at this type of event who's a, a good player, like, declare proving grounds? I don't know. Uh, it we, is, uh, yeah. yeah. So I believe, believe you just uh, act, activated it because... Yeah. Uh, once again, it's, uh, what's it called? Fights and Goliath. Uh, no objectives are activated at the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, the second player picks one objective mm -hmm. in the middle, roll to activate to be able to score. Yeah. So now we have uh, round. Jeremy was able to maintain priority. Okay. And then now it's picking a battle tactic. Hang on one second, y'all. Yep, yeah, still waiting to get the uh, battle tactic. Four four is eye for an eye with two for two. All right. Two, two. Eye for an eye. Um, so from what uh, Tom was saying is that the Arcanauts in there don't count as play veterans because they're involved. So I don't think them being in there it would have. Uh... Yeah, I think uh, there was just some um, miscommunications on both sides. So yeah, so they they, they resolved it. Yeah, and then, uh, and then they uh, what's it called uh, like. You said they were. The stream is not part of the actually judging in this yeah. event. Uh, the, yeah, because the, the event organizer was just So we're just observing. Sure. Yeah. Realistically. Yeah. Realistically. And then to like sometimes remind things that like happens. Yeah. That like, to update the scores basically. Pretty much, yeah. That's about what we're here for. Um, yeah, and that's why we like it's what we asked at the very start of the event like, yeah. hey, how do you want us to handle like stuff like this? And at the same time, I guess to me, it's good for players because they don't feel like they're being judged by the stream, like people on the stream. I mean, we are judging them, but not like in an official capacity. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. Let's see. And now we have the movement phase. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there wasn't really any re There's, uh, Storm Jade Guard has a four of Spell Guard, so it doesn't really work to cast a four gas. Yeah. Uh, yes. And then we see the retreat. Here. Yeah, so he's probably going to use this once per game retreat and shit. Yeah. Uh, because it's uh, sustained uh, 15, I think, four, 15 wounds, mm -hmm. they cannot uh, fly high. Oh, okay. Wow, oh, so damage negates that? Yeah. Oh, that's. Do you know how many wounds? Is it like half? I believe it's uh, after nine taken, it can no longer fly high. Okay. But it's usually pretty hard. It usually has a two of armor save and a six of ward from the. Yeah. And the ironclad, yeah. So it does, uh, does degrade like a monster. So after uh, after taking uh, seven wounds, actually, it can no right. longer fly high. Okay. Plus, yeah, and then uh, it loses disengage after taking ten wounds. Which is the, uh, I like the garrison model shoot also. Okay. Can still shoot if this model retreats the same. Okay. Yeah. So now we have this. So I believe Randall probably activated the middle objective. 
Yeah. Or that is all my objective, so. Yeah, you uh, can see he flipped it open yeah. over on his so, token. So Jeremy would probably be only be able to score his battle attack. Yeah. Well, if he gets those, if he gets these two boats over there, would he control? Because I think then he counts as more than that guy. Yeah, this would be pretty hard to get out. Be tricky to get out. I mean, yeah. you'd have to get outside charge range and then probably charge would be my guess. But yeah. like, that's true. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I have some, uh... Because I think six inches, if we're looking at it correctly, is probably about to here, you think? These the two objectives should be around uh, 12 inches apart. Okay, so yeah. about here... Yeah. So, at uh, best, Randall has a dragon, a uh, hundred column, and a uh, ironclad on it. Which these doors should be able to just take, take, take back. So, Jeremy will get his one. And oh yeah, and the dude's piling out. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. So I believe it's Jeremy's best interest to just shoot the uh, Harakana. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna need to get that thing out of the game it's soon. Pretty, uh, I love it was on a four side. Pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, definitely needs to get out because that plus one to hit is just such a huge like is force really multiplier. Yeah. And then when you just have dragons, and they could have also considered maybe the art doing some damage to iron, right? Yeah. Very interesting to see. Let's see. And Jeremy does start the two frigate to the left side. One's almost off the table. Yeah. As you can see, right towards the tower. And then you have the gun holder and another frigate. So. Yeah. And take what's there so he can sweep these down in here towards yeah, you the end. Eventually, he'll just get into the zone, but which is fine. Yeah. Easy. Although, is this unit Randy's or is that. Uh, oh. What are those? Uh, frigate guard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just battle line, basically, then. Yeah. So what Jeremy's trying to do now is just... Where did those troops come from? Uh, are you talking about... Yeah, these ones. Yeah. He's deployed out of, I believe, this. Uh, one, one figure, I believe, that. So they did... Can they move after they deploy out of a thing? Double checking. Yeah. I believe like the rule for that. Let's see. I love to. I'm just gonna try and do this with the boss. Yeah, I believe they just left. Left the garrison. Yeah, 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 I think so too. I'm not sure which garrison they left from, but. At least something in the KO FAQ did mention something about it. I'll double check. Yeah. Now, these, these two players, players both play a lot of tails, so they yeah. Like, I'm assuming one of them would call each other yeah. out if they were yeah. doing something that wasn't allowed, yeah. so... Um, but it's, it's always, always good, good to double check. Yeah, because yeah, we're just not yeah. sure. Yeah, so the most recent uh, KO FAQ did mention something about this. Question was, can the unit garrison a KO sky vessel leave the garrison in the movement phase if the vessel has not yet moved? If yes, can that garrison unit and the sky vessel they each be picked to make a normal move or run that phase as normal? Okay. So they both, the, the, the answer to that is yes. Okay. So what happened was the, the so boat was the, like here. The earth not left within six and then they made their move, normal move. Yeah, okay. So yeah. So the boat was here, yeah. left out about six and then normal move. So he, they skipped a few steps, but it's better up the Yeah, like, so process. effectively what happens is you just deploy 10 inches away. Yeah. Effectively. And here we're in the shooting phase. Yeah. You see, here we see a very uh, a frigate all on the in the Randy's deployment zone. Yeah, it's 
on pretty much the edge of the table. I think maybe it's an inch or two off. Yeah, we just need to make sure it doesn't get knocked off. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I know I've actually clipped a model and drug it off the table before with my shirt. Yeah. Uh, it was my Archeon. Uh, Doing damage. Yep. I was shooting a dragon, actually. Ooh. Just trying to chip it down. Did those Frigo Guard get removed? No, they're still there. They're kind of hard to see, though. They're yeah. like right they're against blended the wall. in. Yeah, very camouflage. Guerrilla warfare. So save on the four. Yep. Shooting the dragon's not the, the worst idea, like, you eventually yeah. do want to, like, do something about it. Yeah. And then these, some random air car companies shooting them. I believe the... It's an interesting target priority. I think I might have personally shot the uh, Harakana. We'll see if Jeremy does as well. So the, now we got to the pistol range, so everyone, everyone just... And then the frig is shooting at Frigo Garu. Camo flash into the building. Interesting, interesting round of shooting. Let's, I guess we'll just see what the Ironclad wants to do this turn. So I see two guys die to the frigate. So I see uh, players discussing how uh, c cover cover works. I believe uh, Ren won here. So free go guard with a shield will be saving on five. Maybe it was actually decent. Uh, it would be okay to cast a Horgast this turn if he was, if he's gonna, if he was gonna shoot the uh, Frigo guard because their their bravery is quite uh, a little low. Uh, without a Frigo general, they're only about a, I believe a six, and that with the banner. So it's just some girl, some of the Frigo guard getting clear. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, as I was walking by, I looked. That boat is actually at the edge of the map. Yep. They took a new definition to playing on the edge. Yeah, right? You could say they're on their way to the danger zone. Yeah. Oh, the, the company is made in the combat. You probably just, you know, want to eat the Overwatch or... Sorry, Unleash Hell. Yeah.
We'll see, uh, see if these uh, frigates wants to get, get, get fighty. Yeah. Boats are not terrible. So you see some more. Uh, if this our company lives, that would be uh, that'd be, that'd be quite, pretty big. Yeah. I believe this is the only shell. To the six mortals. That's all. Yep, that's a that's a thing. Yep. Did he? Um, I missed it. Did the free guild guard get cleaned out completely? No. Okay. okay. Now, if uh, this unit gets battle shocked off, does it count towards uh, eye yeah. for an eye? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so the bolt ram has killed a dragon. Okay. Uh, this great engine work that's given like an older Does that free guild guard you have like a champion that can issue themselves commands? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Can it retreat in charge? Yeah, yeah I, believe so. I believe so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will double check. So now with the thing that allows them to retreat, shoot once per game. Let's see. Command battle traits. Yeah. Once per battle, a friendly overload unit can run and retreat in the same turn, it can still shoot and charge. Okay. Yeah. There is no trading with some people. It's the footnotes. Ah. So Jeremy's chosen a custom skyboard, so he gets to pick his own amendments, articles, and footnotes. You know, that's interesting that that's something... Oh, I guess it is older battle tone. Yeah, it's a, it's a 2.0 battle tone. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, it's weird that something GW would have like that in the current yeah. state of the game. But. So for those that are keeping track, he is taking, always take what you are owed. These three units get uh, additional gold. Uh -huh. His article is uh, Master in Disguise. You can reroll hit of one staff from vessels that target a unit that can fly. Okay. And then the retreat and charge and shoot. That's a really good ability. Yeah. Like, really good. And Jeremy charging in because he has the angel work that says uh, when you uh, charge, it does mortals. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good, pretty good. And he has the bomb racks also to do additional mortals. So mm -hmm. can be quite dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, players helping each other, making sure the objective stays in the same place. Yep. So dragons, so lances stuck in combat are not the most effective. Mm -hmm. uh, they no longer get the rent two or the damage two. Okay. I thought I, they might still get the rent two actually. It's been a while since I played la against lances. Yeah, the uh, you wasn't most people use swords and stuff, right? Yeah, because uh, damage two is not the best stats normally. Uh huh. Yeah, so they're only damage one and rend one. Okay. So quite ineffective. And they only have three attacks each, unlike the swords were six. Okay, yeah. Dragon Claws, though, so uh, four attacks each and rend two damage two. Yeah, those, those Dragon Claws put in some work.
So the good news is, even if the boat dies, uh, the dragons are still stuck, stuck in combat. Yeah. So the character should die. So the dragons will be there for at least another turn. Yeah. And the Admiral can do some good fighting on his own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took out that unit of uh, Pistoliers pretty easily. Yeah. It's hard to, it's hard to keep a good uh, dwarf down. Yeah, right. I mean, they are so close to the ground, though, so... True. It's the last couple of inches that matters. Yeah. So we see Lance is being completely ineffective, and here's the claws. <laughs> oh, Tom, uh, Tom might be right. Have to be outside of three inches. If they can't, then they're destroyed, aren't they? That's true. Let's see. Because it's then not a legal placement. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, so I have to be three inches away from enemy. That's that's gonna be really tricky, actually. Uh, you can just place on the other side. Well, oh yeah, I guess yeah. like right yeah. here-ish would be the only place you can yeah. put them. Yeah. Yep. Here we see the bow just dying, yep. and then the dwarfs. The dwarfs coming out. Uh, that uh, placement back to Earth is a little sus, I'm not gonna lie. Which one? When he knocked it, he didn't move it as far forward it looked like, but hey, whatever. So here we see, yep. I'm a little, hmm. How, it's only within how much when they pop out from the, the boat dying. This is what, outside of three of the boat, so. Outside three of enemies within how many inches of the boat they sell. Within, wholly within three of the boat. Okay. So, so the boat is big enough, so it's, if you pop on the other side, it's not going to be a problem. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There's also, it looks like one pistol there left. Oh yeah, no shit. You just chilling there. Yeah. Or the character, or they're the character. They might be the dwarf characters, actually. Let me go take a look and see. Yeah. Yeah, the SOS Novo, his uh, custom Skyport thing lets, lets him, uh, once per game, just like, retreat and then shoot and charge. Yeah, they're dwarfs. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremy has managed to score his battle tactic after an eye. Oh. The, the, the guard left. Oh, there's one guard, and then I'm assuming Randy is about the command point. Yeah. So he scored uh, yeah. how many for the uh, map? Three. Three. So one, one for the map and two for the battle tactic. I thought you said he didn't get the battle tactic. He did. He did. Oh, he did get it. Yeah. Okay. So three what did he kill? The free guild. Oh, he wiped him out completely. Okay, okay. I thought he did. Cool. So now it's four to seven. Yep. Well, that's interesting. Eight so to four. Mm hmm. Yeah. Pickrot's saying eight to four. Seven. Because he only scored four last year and then three this year. Do you mind going to confirm that real quick? Because I believe you. I just I don't. Seven. Does his score sheet say eight to four? No, seven. They correct. No, no, you're good, dude. Um, sorry, folks, we're trying to confirm with the pick route. It's good, because we got some seven to four, in the, but the score sheet says eight to four, so we're trying to confirm here. Oh, okay. So yeah, seven to four, folks. You're good, dude. Uh, do you know what battle tactic they picked? Gaining momentum for Rand. Uh, so Randy's so Randall there. has to kill one unit of his choice. So probably. Never. Probably those Arcanaut boys are a, yeah. a hero, I'd say. So 
Spreading out that plus one hit aura of love. Yep. So, what's the max points Randy can score this turn? Four or five? Five. five. Okay. One hold, uh, hold one, hold two, hold more battle tactic. Okay. Yeah. So, it looks like a retreat or a uh, redeploy there. Oh, that, oh that's a save. Okay. Dragon shooting character is interesting. They're not the best, most consistent, because they're just random D6 models. Yeah. And they really need, like, multiple fires to, like, guarantee this, uh, if anything happens. Yeah, I mean, it, for, I honestly think Granny should be shooting at that unit of Arcanauts. 3 one, one. That's not good for either sh Dragons or the, the Huracan. Yeah. So it looks like one mortals. Uh, so it's a, uh, s s yeah, Steven, it's a, um, Custom Skyport, and that's one of the things he can do once per game. He can. It's a fun though of the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, he can retreat, retreat, shoot, and charge in the same turn. Once per game. Once per game, yeah. So. Yeah, normally the sub factions limit you to what bonus you get from the article, the fun note, and the uh, amendments. But Jeremy did not take a sub faction, yeah. so he gets to pick his own, which is the power of the not taking a sub faction. Yeah. Which honestly is pretty good. Yeah. Like that's a really good combo. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that might have been the uh, Harakana or the Dragon shooting. They're both always three dice, so it's not. Yeah, like, it's. So here's the uh, some sky. I think that's the Iron Cloud. Maybe. Yeah, it should be the Iron Cloud. Uh, let's see. Three, six, door five. Yeah. Oh, eight, door five. So, folks, this boat right here is dead. Yeah. So don't want, like, that's, yeah, yeah. it's dead. Kill it. Um, Everything else is alive. Yeah. I felt like we had less Arcanauts before. No, they dropped out. Yeah. It's 30. So the first unit ah, okay. died, the second unit was in the boat, and then the... Because, uh, yeah, the uh, Iron Cloud, I believe, holds like 25 miles. Ah. Yeah. So, yeah, here we see Randall's shooting phase. So Randall's, because of the Huracanum and the command tray, is getting plus one to hit and wound for missile weapons. That plus one to save thing was only for the first round, right? Yeah, yeah, that's for the first battle round. I bet it's normal save. And the dwarves have died. Yep. And that should be the, the tactic for Randos, uh, so that might be a four, five point turn for Randos. Yeah, that's that's a really strong turn swing right there for him. Yep. Because he, he now controls uh, the middle objective. Um, so four, four wounds have been taken. It's a fourth war side. Yep. Moving the, they don't have the custom build. Yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll get cleaned up when the 3.0 KO board comes out. Yeah. Which might be a while. Yeah. It's, I'm glad KO is still competitive in, with their book without being like having to put a cons fine. Are they a 2.0? Uh, yes. yes, they are. Yeah. Are they uh, some update maybe? No, they had 
Uh, the, they got a new model recently, the, the Emerald from the... Thing? Yeah. Oh, was it like a like a white dwarf like yeah, yeah. special character? Yeah, that dude. They're Drakey Flint. Huh. Interesting. Six. What are they going on about? They're char uh, it's charging now. The dragons have taken the objective with it. Yeah. Because it is ma magnetized, like most dragons are. Yup. I don't know if I like this, because it is engaging a lot of funds, and they don't have that much output, like, yeah. they just split a lot of attacks. Well, so the, he's getting the, bonus, the improved stat block on the charge with the spears. Yeah. Maybe he's confident that'll be enough to pop one of the heroes? Yeah. Yeah, the player's having a good old, good old, good old time right now. How many armies are doing for that? I believe a lot. Much. Mm. Uh... I would say like 80% probably at this point. Uh, I don't think so. So, let's see, cities are 2.0. Yep. Oh yeah, I guess there's a majority 2.0. Yeah, like it's, the ones that are 3 point are Stormcast, Nighthaunt, Soulblight. No, Soulblight's a 2.0 technically. Yeah, it's like the last 2.0 book. Yeah, uh, Seraphon's 2.0 still. Yeah. Cruel Boys are 3.0. Yeah. Orc War Clan's 3.0. So half of destruction is still uh, 2 point. Uh, no, three and fourth of destruction is 2.0. Yeah. Ogres, ogres, giants, and uh, gits all 2.0. Uh, Gloom Spike Yeah. When did they get a new book? They're 2.0. Oh, two, you mean 2.0? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sp yeah splitting yeah. damage is kind of dangerous, so yeah. You see a bunch of like. Yeah, whips. It makes it very swing. Yeah. Yeah, it makes... I wonder why Randy didn't just swing his, his dragons all the way around and engage the Arcanauts and just kind of leave the heroes... Just do their thing, yeah. Yeah, because they're only, what, move four, so... Well, it looks like these three dragons have uh, aligned to kill one thing, though. Yeah. You're like, this squad, we don't want this squad around anymore. Yeah. City strikes over giant gets fuck. Yep. Yeah. And that's, that's a lot of factions. factions. It is. Zines and Luna both almost getting there. Soon, yeah, yeah, soon. And then ogres and uh, giants after I after. I thought it was just ogres by themselves and not giants in this next. Uh, giants, giants also in a new book. Oh, they are giving yeah. one. Okay. And then slaves of darkness at the end of the year. So five more three point oh books. Yeah, hopefully slaves are decent this go around. Yeah. Dragons, still very hard to kill. Yep. Just big flyy. Makes you want to buy some, I'm not gonna some lie. Flyy bat thing looking. Yep. Because uh, I'm, I'm toying around with the Settlers Game Army. Yeah. That, I know uh, the Settlers Game is gonna get some big buffs soon. Uh, yeah. With the uh, Luminous book coming out. Yeah. 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 Uh, give drop techlets in there, maybe some dragons, and just have a good time. Yeah. I'm gonna have a good time. My opponent might not. Techlets and dragons, uh. What's the BOC? Uh, Beast of Chaos. Yep. SoCloud's favorite army. Dude, Beast is such a cool army. It is. I love it. Uh, in our local check. scene, we have a guy named Albert. Uh, he doesn't play very often, but when he does, he brings out like the Metal Beast, uh, Metal Beast of Chaos army he's had from like the past 20 years. When he rebase, and it's just like. Here's an army that's older than half our flyer base. That's a uh, that's some old old ones. Oh yeah. Yeah, you see nothing but uh, bulgors or not bulgors is the big cow looking dudes. Yeah. I think uh, so. I think that's the end of the turn. Randall's score five. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right.
And uh, I think Jeremy has activated the objective on this side. So we're not having a moving ground on the battle round? Okay. So Who's active. going first? Okay. And Randy, you got five points? Misconfirming, five points for Randy. And he's going first. And uh, Magikin and Aiden and Deepkin and Fire Slayers. Yep. So Randall, Randall did get a double. Yep, and he's going with against the odds. Very easy to do with the hurt column. So let's see, what does Randy do this turn? So he's gonna try, Dragons have to fight more still. Yep. And then I guess uh, so Randall should get another five points. And then... Um, Sounds like you just kind of want to chill, maybe put the Huracan a little bit further back. Well, but that doesn't even matter. So maybe just make it equidistant between these two miles. You just kind of chill there. So it's a good nine inch bubble of you can't get near me because you think like it'll be like nine inches this way, nine inches this way, this way. So like well, the bus has to move onto it, like the regular move. Yeah, yeah. well, they can do the regular move, but like for me, like getting closer for shooting stuff, like it's just. And, yeah. What well, I think Randall probably does is just move the hard count closer to the dragons. Yeah. Yeah, Randy's like in a good spot. Yeah, he's in, it's pretty solid. Yep. Yeah, probably, yeah, move the hurt condom up there for two, also for take what's theirs. For his, so start planning for the uh, grand strat at the end. Yeah. Do we know when four point was coming? Uh, I'm assuming with their pattern, GW's gonna do 40K next summer for their new edition. And so what, two years from now, more yeah. than likely? Yeah, probably. Yeah, two or three. Just say. 2024, maybe. Maybe. Oh, here's the tail, and here's the ironclad. Yeah, that's an interesting, uh, that's a little tragic cut. We'll see how it works out for him. I agree, Tom. <laughs> okay, so what's Randy trying to accomplish by moving his boat there? Uh. Trying to do damage. Because uh, he's probably going to do charge and do the morals too. Okay, uh, right. With right. the bomb He doesn't get the uh, ramp. The uh, great angel orc. Because hmm. he's definitely going to be out of the herd economies plus one range. So. Dragon in effect is shooting again, just not. I'm kind of worried what that those dragons are going to get stuck there for a lot of turns. Yeah, likely. He charges and does enough damage to the ah. other Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a frigate, so it's kind of pretty easy to accomplish. Yeah. Uh, just updating you with some results. Looks like some of our players have finished playing. We'll get that fired up for you guys. Benjamin Richardson, the Dallas. Loco has won his second round. Oh, who do you play against? He has... That's a good question. He has played, played against Matthew Penton, Pentagill. Okay, okay. That's something I'm sure uh, so I know. Uh, I don't have win over uh, Fire Slayers. Ooh, interesting. Fire Slayers not getting many breaks in this GT. Yeah. And then that is the only result we have so far. Is that my phone? Yeah. Uh, do you want to use my 
No, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. That's all the battery. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Also, the, the glass strats uh, come into play really soon. Yeah, at the end of this turn, Randall should be at 14 to 7. So if Jeremy cannot score another couple of fives, it's going to be a rough. Yeah. It'll be close. I think. Most likely, Randall loses his grand strat. Yeah, I think so too. Unless he manages to kill off both those heroes, the Argonite squad, like this turn. But I just yeah. need some. I'll double check for you. Yeah. Like ran uh, only getting one damage through that shot. So yeah, the dragons are stuck with two archons and two characters. I believe an, an uh, admiral and a uh, navigator. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be there for. So might, so might be another turn or two. Because I think they're shooting the ugly off of the dragons again. Yeah, I'm saying two at the minimum if Randy gets lucky. Yeah. Because like he's. Not going to be able to shift. Oh. A frigate has exploded. Yeah, yeah, gloriously. Which is it's pretty normal. The yeah. uh, hard condom. Hard condom does mortals on a uh, two up. Ooh, okay. three shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That uh, that boat is just out of six inches of that objective. That's fine. Rather still already had the objective in this. Like, yeah, the one and the more. Yeah. So really that is true. Us. I guess it's good because it did, it makes uh, his opponent, I guess, a little bit more difficult to get in. Yeah. So the hard time shooting the characters. Oh, he popped the character with the hurt down. Yeah. Just splitting shots. This one. Which honestly, that's ready to get one rid of one of those characters. Um, so what I'm thinking is because yeah, he's base to base with two or more units, so he chooses one of them to be the closest, piles in to the heroes. I guess choosing heroes, pile into there, try to get two dragons in and to kill the last hero and the one dragon to kill an Arcanaut, maybe? Yeah. I don't think he can with those rangers though. Randy rolling more dice for something. Oh. I think he just killed the other character with the dragons. Well done. Yeah. Uh, this is exactly what Randy needed to do to free up that uh, squad. And... I will do it. Wow, I think he's shooting freed up the squad entirely. That looks like it. So it looks like five or five rattle. Yep. So let's see, Jeremy's. So he's got a, he's got a battle pack to do this. Yeah, got bar, yeah, desecrate. He's got desecrate. He's got bar. He's got a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So he's not a strong on that. Ooh. I think they're. I think Jeremy's has few of the models. I think they're strong. Just uh, seeing what, what tag they do. Yeah, I yeah. think that, because uh, at this point, like, Randy's has it, and uh, yeah, they're playing, they're, it sounds like they're talking it out. Slam bolt? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I think that was it. I think the uh, dragons got to the Yeah, game. just bully their way through the game. Yeah. Which they do, I mean, but... What is that, like six, seven hundred points worth of army right there? And yeah, there's the handshake. Six eighty. Yeah, yeah. Six, eight, six eighty. So yeah. The weird knobs gets one back. All right, I'm sorry, what was the final score? Uh, I'll go check. Yeah. Uh, Team USA, a little overrated. It's all about the weird knobs. Just gonna say that. 
fair and balanced, like Fox News? Final score is 27 to 11. 27 to 11. Wasn't Team America or Team USA talking a lot of smack about coming down and beating up Texas players? And then just Randy proved them uh, how uh, wrong they actually were. <laughs> also, uh, Randy's jersey says uh, Team Cr uh, Dream Crusher on the back. One of the best jerseys out here I think I've seen. Yeah, I mean, Emma did absolutely destroy flipping Eli, but um, <clears throat> Eli was wearing a Team America shirt today and not a Weird Knob shirt, so uh, he stepped out of the club, and that's his comeuppance. Hey, hey, uh, Randy, do me a solid, take off your jersey and put it on the table so we can see your, uh, the back of it. I'm trying to get Randy to show you all this, uh, this jersey. It's great, it's perfect. Yeah, the, the, double, the double turn me uh, daddy shirt is pretty great. Hey, here y'all go. We can just uh, put this on the table real quick and uh, want to see before we go. Randy's taking it off for us. He is wearing a shirt underneath this. Bam! Look at that! Team USA thinking they can come down to Texas, take our trophy. The only one we're going to let do that is Tom Juan. You know. Nah, I love the Team USA, Team America, whatever their name is. Huh? Oh, yeah, you're good. You're good. I'm doing it for you. Nah, it was a good game for both players. Uh, yeah, I'm, tr yeah. Uh, so where, yeah, is, I think we're, is it a tournament pack? I think we're on a little bit of a break. So yeah. We're back at 410. Uh, yeah, 410. Uh, we're probably going to go live around 405. Yeah. Uh, just so, you know, do the pregame warm-up kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out for game two. We're yeah. going to go ahead and take a break now. See y'all in a little bit.